Hi, this is my Nana, and today we're going to be cooking her favorite fish to eat, the... Brook trout. Okay, and what's the first step? Medium heat with some butter. Okay. And why do we put butter on the pan? So the fish doesn't stick to the pan. So the fish doesn't stick to the pan. Okay, should we, like, throw the fish in right now or wait for the butter to melt a little bit? Let the butter melt a little bit. Okay. Well, now that the pan is warmed up, butter is melted. We'll now put the fish in the pan. Ooh, look at that. That's going to be some tasty trout. Mmm, I'm looking forward to it. What, what is it that you always say? We catch them, you cook them? That's right. Okay. Definitely got practice cooking that species. <laughs> and the way I cook mine is I usually put a cover on to help keep the steam in so the moisture keeps it nice and moist. And so it don't splat and dirty up or prettied up kitchen. That's true, too. Nana, give me some cooking tips for cooking brook trout. Well, it kind of depends on the size of the trout. But approximately, you toss and turn it. <laughs> <laughs> Just every now and then, you'll flip it around, let it cook evenly. But different fish in different habitats grow at different speeds. That's too much so talking some, for me. So some brook trout... A different weights, different lengths. It depends on the habitat and how much they feed. Yeah, I weren't going to give you those lines. Those were for me the smart one. <laughs> Nana, what are you doing? Checking the trout. Okay. Depending on the size of the fish, depends on how long you cook it. So I just kind of flip it from one side to the other every few minutes because we want to make sure it's done. And, and we don't. Well done. And we kind of want to just move it around a little bit so the skin don't stick to the pan too bad. And the more butter we put on, the less the skin will All stick. Along with the steam and the moisture mm -hmm. will help keep it from sticking and keep the fish moist so yeah. it's not all dry. Okay. So it'd still work, but if the lid keeps the moisture in it so the fish don't dry up. And the length of the cooking time depends on the size of the fish. So uh, while you wait for the fish to cook, you just clean your kitchen, don't you? Yes. We just had some roast carrots, potatoes, and onions, and that was delicious too. You're a good nana, ain't you? You can answer me. If you say so. That's looking yummy. Hey, Nan. Hi. I got a question for you. What's that? How does the computer catch fish? Not sure. With its internet. <laughs> what are you doing, Nan? Checking the fish. Yeah. Need to flip it. How much longer do you think it's going to be before it's done? Well, probably ten more minutes. Yeah. How how long do you think it's been in there so far? Well, I'm not exactly sure. I didn't look at the time. Probably good ten minutes. I huh? would say about ten. Probably fifteen to twenty, depending on the size of it. Yeah. In some some brook trout, you'll see they grow really long and skinny. Some go really long and chunky and some that it, it all depends on the feed and the habitat and the body of water they're in yes and you want to make sure it's well done mm-hmm we don't want sushi no no raw fish here nope what are you doing my preference is to peel the skin off as I'm cooking it some people like the skin, but I don't. Yes, my preference is to peel the skin as it's cooking it. Mm -hmm. I take it out of the pan, and I dispose of it. It also makes me 
Make sure the fish is cooked well done. I like mine well done. You flip it too much, too soon, and it starts falling apart. You do a pretty good job of this, don't you? Well, I'm used to it. As much fish as you caught in the past <laughs> few summers. Yeah, I kind of wish I would have been doing this channel a little, a little sooner. Yeah, a little while ago, because I could have got a lot more fishing content. Well, you've caught your fair share of fish just in the past few years. Oh, yeah. Sure have. Let me help you clean up from the previous meal. Anything else I can help you with? No. All right. But thank you. Nan, I got a question. What's that, Ashton? Um, why does it... How do you know when it's done done? Like, how can you know when it's really done? Well, you can tell because of the color through. And the bones seem to spread. And, and the, the meat, meat kind starts of, to let go. Yeah, it gets a lot tender, more tender. And it starts falling apart, you know, it's yeah. the Pull. moisture and the Pull. texture of yeah. the fish. Whole bunch of different clues. It's kind of a no-brainer, you can tell when it's done. That's looking good, Nana, good job. Can't wait to try it. Yeah, me too. Okay, so it's all done. What, what now? Oh, what is holding a lot of moisture? Yes, it does hold a lot of moisture. Especially with there not being a little hole in the glass, it holds that much more. Yep. So. Yep. Do, do your stuff, Nana. You take it out and let it cool on a plate for a little bit. Probably shouldn't put it on a styrofoam, styrofoam reusable plate, should you? Might melt it. No, and I prefer get it a glass meat. plate. It's hot. We don't want it to melt. And you let it cool, and we'll get ready to peel the meat off the bone. Okay. So we'll do that in a few minutes once it cools down. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's. So what I do with mine is I pull up on the bone. I just kind of take a fork. And pull. See how the meat just kind of unfolds on yep. the bone? And the, you don't want to cook too long, but the longer you cook it, the easier it comes off. Yes. And the spine gets most of the ribs, but you still got to be careful. Yes. And always remember, even though you've pulled the bone away from the meat, there may always be a piece of a bone still in the meat. The AOA comparison to a rib is like bit, biting into a short piece of fishing line. You know from experience, don't you? That's why you're smiling. Yes. See how that just kind of glides right off the bone? Yep. But again, I I stress, always remember to check your meat before you eat it. Because you may have pissed, missed a bone. See? Oh, yep. And you can mm -hmm. consider it a choking hazard. Okay, Nana, what's our final words? Like and subscribe. I'm going to enjoy very much. Goodbye.